Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. This week's tutorial is more of a quick tip tutorial in that we're going to be taking pre-existing textures in the Procreate app on an iPad and we're going to recolor them so you're not stuck with whatever color the texture is, which I have two texture kits for Procreate. One is a watercolor texture kit and the other one is a metallic texture kit. So even though the metallic has silvers and golds in it and the watercolor has a bunch of different color variation, you can go in and change the color to anything you please. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so you can avoid purchasing different color kits. You can use the exact kit that you have and just recolor it right in the app. So in order to get started, we're going to bring in a texture first. So I'm just going to come over here, hit my wrench, hit insert flat image. I have all my textures in their own texture folder on my iPad. So first we're going to start with a foil and we're going to make this a rose gold instead of just a gold. So I'm going to enlarge this so it takes up my entire artboard right here. And let's zoom out a little bit. And I've got pink selected up here. So we're going to create a new layer. So I'm just going to hit plus right here and I can grab my brush. I'm just going to grab a soft airbrush right here. And with my pink color selected, I can on my new layer, just start brushing. You can see I'm covering the entire thing up with pink. But then when I come over here, if you hit the N, the N stands for normal blend mode. And if we change this to a color blend mode, so just hit color right here and then choose color right here, you can see it automatically changes the color. And if I wanted to maybe introduce some blue in here, I could change the color to blue. I could change, let's grab this kind of mint color. So you can see you can change it to any color that you want. And if you wanted, you can create a layer on top of this, change this color to black, just double tap right here and it'll automatically select true black. And then I can just tap here, hit fill, and now I can grab my eraser tool, select any brush that you want out of here, and we can erase away the black and reveal that foil underneath. And you can do your iPad lettering this way as well. So. So it's pretty fun and you can, you know, see the other different colors here too. So that's one way to do it. If you wanted just one color of foil, if you don't need this party going on with the different colors, you can just come over here to this layer, make sure you choose the color that you'd like first, tap on it and we can just fill it. And now we've got that rose gold going on right here. So if we wanted to change textures, if we wanted a glitter texture instead of the foil, let's just bring in a glitter texture now. This is all from my metallic texture kit, which I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description. I'm gonna grab the silver glitter right here from the kit and you can see we've already changed the color to pink right here because it's below, this is the important thing, it's below my color layer. So if I turn off my color layer just by tapping this checkbox right here, you can see this is the original color. Let me turn off my black layer too. So this is the original color of the texture. As soon as we put a layer on top of it that has a color blend mode, you can see we've changed the color. So pretty fun. And just to give you an idea of what a watercolor texture would look like, let me turn this off and I'm going to insert a watercolor texture this time. And I'm gonna grab this one right here because it's got a lot of different color variation. And you can see it took on the pink because it's right below the pink. If I turn the pink off, you can see this is the original watercolor. And with the pink on, that's what it looks like. And you can see it's kind of blocked out right here. Now, if you wanted to experiment a little bit even more, um, you could change the blend mode to something different. Instead of color blend mode, you can come in here and maybe play around with overlay or hard light and just kind of toggle through and see what kind of colors you like best. But if you want to change it to just one color, always come to the color one and hit color. So that is how to recolor any texture within Procreate without having to purchase a ton of different texture kits. You can do it all yourself within the Procreate app. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my blog every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. And I will leave a link in the video description for both the metallic texture texture kit and the watercolor texture kit if you're interested in checking those textures out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.